Your magic is futile here, bitch. Who the hell are you? This does not concern you. I need something from you. Information about the collective. Oh, I know who you are. You're that crazy monster hunter nut, aren't you? What is it you call yourself again? The Reaper? <laughs> I am the Reaper of monsters, insolent creature. When your kind see me, they know their days are numbered. Now, you will tell me what I want to know, or I will kill you. Understand? Sure you will, shorty. <laughs> How stupid can you possibly be to think that you are better than us monsters? Us humans are pure. Unlike you filthy savages, killing and maiming left to right. I wouldn't have to kill you all if you didn't exert your wicked powers over us. The only thing pure about you is your ignorance. What about Atticus Cain? You killed him last week, right? Yes. And did you know anything about him? Besides the fact that he was a blood-sucking brute that needed to be put down, no. Atticus Cain suffered for centuries since his dear Isabella died tragically long ago. He lived largely in exile, only coming out when absolutely necessary. Up until you killed him, he searched far and wide for his Isabella reincarnate. Then I put him out of his misery. Maybe if he repents for his sins, he'll be with this Isabella. But you didn't know that, though. You just wanted to put another one of us monsters into the ground. Well, if he wanted to be with the love of his life forever, then why did he become a vampire? Cain had no choice in the matter. But hey, the less of us the better, right? Yes, of course. <laughs> you don't believe that for one second. Without us, you have no purpose. You would be lost without us. Why did you even become a monster hunter instead of something more real? My heritage for him. Something you would know nothing of. My bloodline has hunted monsters since our inception. If I did not fulfill my purpose, I would be a disgrace. The hard work my family has done will have been for nothing. <laughs> what? Stop that. Seems like you and Cain had a lot in common. You both had no choice in the matter. If you're not a monster hunter, you're nothing. You're nothing. Untrue, Vile Witch! I am Bram Whitlock the Sixth, and I am better than you. But that's not the real you. You're just hiding behind expectations. I am Loretta Undergrove. I come from a long line of witches stretching back from Salem, yes? But I prefer to be an artist. I'm actually quite the painter. I'm just a monster hunter. But who is the real monster? The one who is honest with herself? Or the person justifying his hatred on family ties? I think we both know the answer, but that doesn't have to be the case, Bram. Take off that ridiculous mask, Bram. Show me the real you.
a chef. Excuse me? It's what I wanted to be. Parents told me it wasn't a viable option. My only choice was to follow the family business. Your parents aren't here anymore, Brom. They can't control you anymore. How are you able to be who you want to be despite what people say? I, I am my own person, just like you. I never knew my parents, but I'm sure if they did, they would have said the same things yours did. Maybe your destiny is to be a monster hunter. Maybe it's to be a chef. You never know until you give it a shot. I'm sorry, I, I never, never dreamed. It's okay, no apologies. It's, it's not your fault. Now, get out of here, before I change my mind. Now, don't make me regret this, but would you like to come with me? I'd love to. <laughs> 